So now that we are self-aware, now that we're radically responsible, now we can create a culture of we. Conscious leaders are intentional. They put systems, practices, and behaviors in place so colleagues feel they belong, they're connected, and they're empowered so each one of them can flourish. Seventy-six percent of millennials look to an organization to join that has a social or environmental impact. Seventy-six percent. So we see this huge shift from us Xers and Boomers from standard of life to quality of life. From investing in a home to investing in experiences. From me to we. Around the people at your table. Do you like them? <laughs> but then the pandemic came along. And it changed all of our priorities, no matter our generation. People now more than ever want more purpose in their life. And we want more flexibility. Anybody want that? Flexibility on where, how we work, and with whom? And get this one. The career is no longer the center of our identity. <laughs> so regardless if you join an organization for basic needs or for meaning and purpose, how to keep talent comes back to how we lead that talent. And it is natural to be drawn to people and dogs that look like us. So no shame, no blame. But as a conscious leader, meaning someone who is radically responsible, self-aware, and committed to creating a culture of we, unconscious biases can create havoc with employee engagement and employee belonging. <laughs> wants to work to everyone wants to create, innovate, contribute to make their contribution count for you, your organization, and your community from right where you are. But what if, what if we put our voices and actions together? How far would they carry then? What impact could we collectively have? 